Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Minister for Exports, Mike Freer, can't be here to join us live, but he has been kind enough to share his thoughts with us in this keynote. I'm delighted to be able to address your inaugural Global Trade Conference today. As Minister for Exports, my mission is to help more of the best of British get into the world's largest and fastest growing markets. And that could not be more important as we begin to build back from the COVID-19 pandemic. I know British motoring has a vital role to play in driving forward our enterprise-led economy. From internationally recognised brands like JLR and Mini, brilliant drivers like Lewis Hamilton, to our F1 crew smashing speed records. The UK automotive sector has flown the flag for its quality, performance and world-beating innovation. Ever since British engineers designed and built the first electric cars back in the 19th century, British motoring has set the standard with their readiness to embrace new ideas. We have come a long way since Walter Bursey, the operator of London's first electric taxi, marvelled that his machines could reach 12 miles an hour. But his conviction that there is no apparent limit to the hopes and expectations of the electric artisans stands true over a century later, pioneering the vehicles which will be vital to our zero carbon future creating jobs in the industries of tomorrow. The UK has always been at the cutting edge of automotive innovation. Successes in UK motorsports have bred a generation of world-class engineers, designers and manufacturers who, backed by government funding and academic expertise, have propelled this dynamic industry to new heights. Take Teva, which recently unveiled its first British electric truck design for mass production in the UK or our innovative bus manufacturers leading the way in the rapid development of electric and hydrogen buses. The recent Stellantis 100 million investment in Vauxhall's Ellesmere port plant, which will transform the site for a new era in electric manufacturing, or Nissan and Envision Asex 1 billion investment into an EV hub, including the UK's first large scale gigafactory expected to supply 100,000 electric car batteries from 2024. Since the launch of your first automotive trade report, the UK's world beating research and development ecosystem has led the way in technologies that will make the vehicles of tomorrow smarter, safer and more sustainable. And of course, emissions net zero is not an ambition the UK is only pursuing in its automotive sector but it is the automotive sector which will play a pivotal role in the government's plans for green growth and building back better from COVID-19 pandemic. The Prime Minister's 10-point plan for a green industrial revolution is a blueprint to eradicate the UK's contribution to climate change by 2050. It is the bedrock of our COP26 climate summit, mere weeks away now. This includes up to 1 billion for the Automotive Transformation Fund, supporting research development and capital investments across strategically important parts of the EV supply chain. An overseas engagement is essential to our ambitions for a global Britain, allowing us to encourage and drive fairness and competition in international trade. Our trade agreement with the EU, including in car manufacturing, has helped unlock investment and protect jobs right across the UK. And the Department for International Trade is working tirelessly to negotiate further free trade agreements to ensure the UK is a key partner for trade and investment with established and emerging partners abroad. The UK's Indo-Pacific tilt has its foundation in trade, completed ongoing negotiations, including the UK, Japan and UK, South Korea FTAs. And our application for CPTPP accession a free trade area worth 9 trillion in global GDP, covering 11 Pacific nations and some of the world's most dynamic economies from Malaysia to Mexico. That will ensure that UK industry is able to export to all corners of the globe. These agreements will support high value jobs in the industries of the future and ensure we can build back better, greener and stronger after the pandemic. Like every industry, COVID-19 has presented the automotive sector with formidable challenges. But it is not only 
the only crisis the industry has had to overcome. Recent fears of fuel shortages have made the case for electric vehicles all the more obvious, and broader supply chain issues, including a global dearth of semiconductors, pose significant difficulties. That is why the government is committed to ensure that critical supply chains are stable and sustainable. We will continue to give unwavering support to UK-based supply chain exporters, many of whom are already developing strengths in future mobility, including in automation and zero emission vehicles. The government is also continuing its long-standing programme of support to drive innovation and growth in the automotive sector. This includes through the Advanced Propulsion Centre and the Faraday Battery Challenge. Projects such as these are designed to put the UK at the global forefront of the design, development, manufacturing and recycling of electric batteries. Of course, designing and developing the technology of the future is only half the story. The government is determined that this sector will continue to be a world leader in the export of automotive products, skills and technologies. Goods exporting businesses are proven to be more productive and support hundreds of thousands of jobs in all regions of the UK. And together with UK Export Finance, the UK's Export Credit Agency, the Department for International Trade is committed to ensuring that UK-based vehicle manufacturers and firms involved in the supply chain will have access to the funding, support and expertise they need to continue selling overseas. Last year, over 80% of the cars produced in the UK were exported. This includes not only leading brands like Bentley, McLaren, Rolls-Royce and the iconic Black Cab, manufactured by the London Electric Vehicle Company, but also rising stars, manufacturers and supply chain companies driving the creation of high value jobs across the UK. Other exporting successes include the Aston Martin manufacturing sites in Wales, assembling their new DBX SUV, the Wright bus plant in Northern Ireland and the Alexandra Dennis factory in Scotland. These companies are key to our levelling up agenda, driving the creation of high value jobs outside London and the South East. Since the 19th century, British car manufacturers have thrived through their pioneer spirit, strength of enterprise and game changing innovations. And demand for these innovations is not confined to the UK. We should not limit ourselves in our ambition for the global marketplace. By seizing new opportunities abroad, we will help build back better, stronger and greener at home. The UK can be proud to have one of the world's best known sectors making cars which everyone wants to buy, from Baku to Beijing, British Columbia to Bratislava. And as the world turns to greener technologies, I know that British car manufacturers will be at the forefront. By stepping up to sell more of our top quality goods and export manufacturing expertise, this industry will galvanise an industrial revival across the country. Together, we will drive forward onto the zero carbon electrified supercharged highway of the future. Thank you. Well, many thanks to the minister for those words to kick our day off today.